You back in your bag. I'm back in my bag. Stay in your bag. Stay like in your you bag. Could, you know you could fall out your bag, but you could get back in it though too. Hey y'all, what's up? So we on set of my new podcast called Carisha Please. Carisha Please is my shit. It's Your my shit. show. Where we do things real, raw, and uncut. We ain't sugarcoat and shit, and we get to all the smoke. So today's guest, we got the one and only Mr. Billionaire Dick Diddy. <laughs> you call me Billionaire Dick? Yeah. Yeah. The one and only. Yeah, the motherfucking one and only. What's up? Before we get into the smoke, we got to have a drink. This interview is being brought to you by Deleon Tequila, owned by a black man. Goes down smooth. Now back to more Carisha, please. Bartender, can I get a Carisha, please? Okay. Frank Love. What's up, Frank? How are you, Mr. Frank? You're doing great. Cheers. Mm. Goes down smooth. That's that Deleon. You ready for the smoke? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's get to it. What we calling you? Because I'm confused. Is we calling you Brother Love, Diddy, Sean, Combs? What Diddy. is it? Diddy. We're going to simplify it for everybody on this run right here. We're going to go with Diddy. And that's final. Yeah, that's final. But you could call me Love, though, too. Like, people that are, like, close to me call me Love. But you're you... going by Diddy. Yeah, but I'm going by, I'm going by Diddy. I'm going to call you Diddy. Yeah, call me Diddy. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, you just announced. Is this, your, is this your first time interviewing somebody? Yes, it is my first time. Okay. Yeah. And I had to call Mr. Diddy. Yeah. Diddy, what's up? What's up? I'm here. I'm pulled What's up, up, baby? What's up? Yeah. Take me out to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> so you just announced Love Records. We yeah. singing that? Yeah. No, I mean... You Love know I can sing, right? You can sing? Mm-hmm. We're good. Sing for me. Love. <laughs> Catch me later. Catch me, Catch no, me I saw, later. I saw you on live singing. I can sing. Time. Yeah. You, you might want to pull it up. Yeah. You I might want to holler at me. I, I heard you. I heard you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, I think R&B. Don't you miss R&B? I miss R&B. Like, like R&B hasn't been, a, you know, around since it's, it like got canceled or something. It just uh, got off the radio and people stopped, you know, buying it and treating it like, you know, the, the part of African-American culture that it is. So, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm just doing what I love to do in R&B. That's my first love. My first record I produced was Come and Talk to Me, you know, the, the Joe to see remix. And then, you know, all the stuff, you know, with Mary J. Blige and just my whole career, you know, um, producing hip hop, but R&B is like my first love. And I just feel like that's what the world needs, you know? And so Love Records is an all R&B label. Jazzy is our first artist. And um, yeah, we making that, we making that knock, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, if you want to, I can sing too, so you might want to holler at your girl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can, like, go there. Yeah, now we got a joint coming out. We got the Act Bad joint. That it's an Act Bad summer. Yeah. Why you call it the City Girl? So let's talk about that. Y'all the world's biggest female rap group. So we Acting Bad. Yeah, and y'all with the shits. So with all the shits, y'all with the smoke, y'all with acting bad. And acting bad is just having fun. Like, we have a good time. We act bad all the time. So you heard him. If you a city girl, go get you a bad boy so you can act bad, because we acting bad all motherfuckers summer. You heard? We just enjoying life. Living our fucking best lives. Best life. The fucking best. Me? You want to know what I do when I act bad? I do what the fuck I want. Mm-hmm. I'm going to do what the fuck I want, say what I want, that's act the yeah, bed. Like, that's why I fuck with you, too. Yeah, I'm hanging out the window. Yeah, you with the shit. I'm twerking. That's what the fuck I'm, I'm doing talking the fuck about. I want. Yeah, you living life. Yeah, acting yeah, bad. Yeah, acting bad. That's what's up. So, you just did the Billboard Awards, mm -hmm. and you, like, fucked it up, mm -hmm. dripping, mm -hmm. saw you in your all red. Yeah. You had an all white. I'm back in my bag. So, <laughs> the last time we saw you perform, I was in 2015 at the yeah. BET Awards, so... Mm -hmm. Like, what's up? How you was feeling? Um, you yeah. brought out Christian, your son, mm -hmm. Tiana. Yeah, Tiana, Jack Harlow, Bryson Tiller. It just, it felt good to be back on the stage. You know, I look at myself like as a ringmaster, being able to like, you know, put together shows and, you know, have it be a collective performance and, and, and get people surprises. So it, it, it was, I had a great time, you know, and, and it really was like my welcome back to, just being out here and entertaining and, 
being off of, because I was hibernating for a minute, you know? And so I had a great time. And it just, it, I'm just happy to be back, like just making music, you know? You back in your bag. I'm back in my bag. Stay in your bag, stay like in your you bag. Could, you know you could fall out your bag, but you could get back in it though too. You yeah, know, like we, we I'm a living testimony. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I like eye contact. Eye contact. Yeah, take them off. <laughs> <laughs> so, how has fatherhood been since the passing of Kim Porter? Mm. The fatherhood um, has been really, really real because I was like a part time father, you know what I'm saying? Kim and Sarah and everybody had everything held down. And then, man, you know, this losing Kim, it was just like I was a full time father. My life is really like going crazy right now. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's really, really real. You know what I'm saying? Going from, you know, just being on the road and stuff to, to like actually having to raise three girls and never, I've never been in this situation. And, you know, I guess God gave me some karma, hit me three times, three times. I got three girls turning 16. How'd it make you feel? Um, I'm proud of my daughters. Like when I see my daughters, I just I, I just get so filled with pride. They're so they're so beautiful and strong. They're like really, really like strong young women and they have their own opinions and they you know, they have their own point points of views and they have their own dreams and it's it's just like really beautiful to see. And and it's it's clear why women run the world, you know what I'm saying? Like when I'm around them. So I feel like that's something me and you got in common. Like I lost my baby father. And I feel like I never really got a chance to like grieve about it because I was working. Mm -hmm. So I never got a chance to like express how I felt or I really never really went through the emotion. So when it did hit me, mm. I was just like fucked up. Like it hit me at a bad time. It had me like really depressed and I ain't know how to handle it. And I went through like therapy and I felt like that didn't work. Cause it's like, mm -hmm. I'm talking to somebody that don't know nothing about me and they trying to tell me how to feel. How did you, like, what was your grieving process? Like what, what was something you did? I would, I, at first I would just like, I cried for like three months straight. I would just be like walking around crying. Like, you know me what too. I'm saying? And like just all the time. And it just hurt so bad, you know what I'm saying? And I just didn't, I was just like not moving. I had like isolated myself, you know? And um, yeah, it was def it, it, it was rough, you know what I'm saying? It was rough. I, I really could not control crying. You know, I would be anywhere and, and just any memory would just get me and really break me down. And um, you know, but as time went on and you know, I had to deal with the reality and you know, really, you know, really, really prayer and God and talking to God is what really, you know, got me through it. And I've had, had a, a wonderful life in time with Kim, you know what I'm saying? And I have beautiful kids and I'm just like the luckiest man in the world, you know what I'm saying? It just, and to, to even have had the experience to have her in my life, you know? So, yes, yeah, it's, it's a daily thing, though, but um, I'm back up on my feet, you know, and you know, I'm ready to love again. Period. That's like a shot. Shot o'clock. Bartender. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get a shot of Deleon Reposado. I don't buy Diddy. Shit. I need a shot. Can you tell me about this Deleon tequila? Yeah. Um, I always loved tequila. And, um... Always had a dream of just having my own tequila. So when I did Ciroc, you know, when I did the deal with them, I was like, you know, if I, if I knock this Ciroc out the park, like I need to get this tequila off. And so, you know, um, Ciroc is number one now. And, you know, we got the smoothest tequila in the game. So me and you do something on Fridays. It's called Fuck It Friday. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Yeah. Fuck It Friday. Cheers. Cheers to Carisha, please. That's my love. The product. We gotta make that into a song. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Yeah, now, now, Fucking Friday is about, about mental health. 
You know what I'm saying? Um, it's so much pressure, so much stuff going on in the world right now. And that self-love is important. And as I, I was saying earlier, you know, I went through this healing journey and um, I had to start to let things go. You know, I had to just really like protect my mind. And, um, you know, I think it's important for everybody, like at the end of the week, it's just so much going on right now. Mm -hmm. And so fucking Friday is like that, that time, like after you finish work and it's just like, that's you time. I look forward to like, to, to the commercials and also, taking you to Mexico, you know. We going and, to Mexico? Yeah, to Mexico and, and, and really just learn about tequila, you know, take you to the agave fields and. and okay, when we going? We going I wanna soon. Go, we, I want to go we tomorrow. Suppo we supposed to go. Um, I want to go tomorrow. We want to go tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I can't go tomorrow though. But we're going we gonna to go. We're going to set up a trip. We're going to do it. We're going to take a couple of people. We're going to go out there and do a tequila tasting, Deleon and you know what I'm saying? Really, so when you're out there talking about it, you, you'll know. It's, it's a, it's, I mean, to kill is sexy as a motherfucker. Go, go to Mexico City, turn up, act bad. Act bad, act bad, act <laughs> bad. So I'm gonna call you love for this question. Okay, call me love. 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 Do you like making love or fucking? Making love? Do, do, do. <laughs> Nah, nah, um, I, yeah, I don't like to be fighting and all that. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm definitely more sensual. You don't like quickies and all that. Nah. You like, like to make love. I, yeah, I like take. marathon sex. Ooh. Period. 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 <laughs> that sound real fun. <laughs> Try to see what that's about. Nah, I'm saying. So, how did you feel when you heard Rap Freaks? Rap Freaks? And I was like, oh. let me put it on your face like the roaches. First of all, I was, I was mad at you. Because like that, that that was a real traumatic story, <laughs> you know like like I was traumatized from those roaches, and it's when I heard it first, I was just like, man, she just went and just didn't know how that really traumatized me. And I remember <laughs> calling you, I was like, you know, like the roaches thing was a traumatic situation for me, and you was just laughing, <laughs> and I was like, you know, um, the Venus no chase though. I was like, I was like, you must be talking about you. <laughs> You, you got to be talking about yourself because you ain't putting nothing to sleep over here, baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> we on Carisha, please. You better get to telling the truth. It's like real. It's not, <laughs> it's not but the truth. But I be tired. I, I work a lot. So, you know, I'm a hard working woman. So yeah. sometimes I be like a little tired. Do you, you know. go been out some trains? Like, are you getting put to sleep? Yeah. Ever? Have you ever seen me get put to sleep? That's a different story for a different time. <laughs> so you ready to get in the smoke? Yeah, let's get to the smoke. What's up? You ready? Yeah, let's smoke it up. So when you woke up and we was trending, like, what's up? How you felt about that? What that was about? I mean, it, 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 it just, it was messy. You know what I'm saying? It was messy and I just, you know, it was one of those days, you know? And so... Had to polish things up, had to press the reset button, mm -hmm. boom, and keep it moving. Cause I'm not trying to get messy, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to just live my life and have a good time and stay out the way, but do whatever the fuck I want to do. Okay, so you acting bad. Acting all the way bad. So what the fuck you got going on? <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's, your, you like, what's your relationship status? Mm. You missed the act bad? Mm. I'm single, you know, I'm single, but I'm dating. I'm just taking my time with life. All right. Mm -hmm. So what we is? We date. We dating. We go have dates and we friends. Okay. We go to exotic locations. <laughs> we have great times. Mm. We go to strip clubs, church. Church church i'm gonna take you to church i love that yeah so like what you like about me because people be like she ain't his type he wouldn't talk to her so what is it about me that you like about me um like why are you fucking with a city girl i mean because you authentic you know 
you're like one of the realest people I ever met, you know what I'm saying? And you're authentically yourself and you're a great mother and, you know, a great friend. You just have a good time, you know? You Is that fun? Time. Yeah, you the funnest. <laughs> <laughs> you the funnest. Young Miami. Woo! But then also then you Carisha and then so, you know. So who Carisha is? Carisha, I can get I get advice from Carisha. You know what I'm saying? Carisha tell me like, yo, don't don't be in your head and you know, you're just a good friend. Everybody that, that's a friend of yours will tell you like that you're a great friend. Do you consider yourself toxic? Because you call yourself love. So mm -hmm. do you consider yourself toxic? Like would you say you toxic? Yeah, I would say that it gets toxic. I'm not trying to be toxic. So, but are you toxic? Mm, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I think I think like at times, but I'm not I'm not trying to like give that, you know. So, like what was our first date? And can you talk about how we met? Wow. What? <laughs> <laughs> our first date. I was supposed to take you surfing. I remember that. It was after the BET Awards. Yeah. And I ain't come. Nah. I was like, uh-uh. <laughs> I can't go surfing with my wig. <laughs> <laughs> I was not about to mess up, mess up my wig and it was flying here and nah. yeah. I was like, nope. And then we went to Love Island. Love Island was lit. Yeah. That's my favorite island. I want to go back. Yeah. You can take me back. Yeah, take you back. Mm -hmm. No problem. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a cheater? No, I used to be a cheater. I'm not a cheater no more. Used to be. I'm a, I'm a truth teller now. You're an honest man. Honest. I'm going to give it to you. Honest. I ain't trying to be lying, ducking, hiding, hurting nobody's feelings. None of that. I feel like you single while we go together. So how would you feel about be telling people that I'm single because we go together? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not laughing. Yo. Hold on. It ain't no hold on. We go together now? Real bad. Okay. Whatever you say. I like that. What's the difference between Young Miami and Carisha? Do people ask you that all the time? Mm-mm. Okay. Because so people don't. People know Carisha, but they just think they just replaced Carisha from your Miami, but they don't know it's two different people. Okay. So it's, it's two different people. Yeah, of course. Okay. Hell yeah. Tell me about which that. one you feel like you know. You feel like you I know. feel like I know Carisha and Young Miami. Now I don't really know Young Miami as much as I know Carisha. Okay. But tell tell me the difference. I want to hear the difference from you. Carisha is very always home. My kids mm -hmm. bunny on ugly as fuck, big t shirt. You call me my bunny on. I'm just like. <laughs> Stress the fuck out. My kids yelling Coco Melon. I'm aggravated. Young Miami, I'm at the bed. I'm on the couch twerking. <laughs> I'm taking shots. I'm out. My kids gone. I'm outside. I'm outside. I'm, outside. I'm, I'm at the bed. So that's yeah. the difference between Young Miami and Carisha. Yeah. Like, Young Miami, I'm like real, I won't say boring, but I'm like old lady in the house, mm. kids watching Lifetime, trying to figure out. You know, lifetime. <laughs> Dateline. <laughs> he play with me, how I'm gonna get away. Nah. <laughs> so that's the difference between your Miami and Carisha. So we gonna play this or that. Okay. Missionary or doggy style? Missionary. I like to look in the eyes, I like eye contact. I'm very passionate. Panties of a thong. Thong. Chinese food or American? You can't think. You gotta just say it. American. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I know you like Chinese food, so I was just like, you know. I like Chinese food. I like collard greens, macaroni and cheese, pitch of peas and rice. I you, like, don't like, you don't like um, Chinese food? Chicken lo mein. I think that's what it's called. Shrimp fried rice, egg rolls. Not a fan of it. Yeah, okay. Um, What's your favorite food? I feel like, you know, I want to be classy. I what? like sushi. You like sushi? <laughs> Raw food. Yeah. You know how, like, you want to eat. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm going to say this. 
you go out to eat with a man, he take you to a five star restaurant, you don't know what to order. Yeah. So normally you will order like a surf and turf. Yeah. <laughs> I wanna know that I want you to know that like, yeah, I want um yellowtail. Yeah. Yellowtail sushi. And I'm gonna eat my chopsticks. Yeah. Real classy. That's right. Be you, ma. That's all you gotta do. You like nasty or classy? I take I ain't gonna lie, I'll take nasty over the classy. I ain't even gonna lie. I'd rather, I'd rather not be bored, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we, we, can, we can go get some some classy classes or some shit like that, but you know, I ain't the classiest myself at times, you know what I'm saying? I just like being real, I, you know. That's it, that's it. That's the vibe. That that's the frequency. So whenever we hang out, we have a good time because we just like being ourselves and you, when you said like, you know, it's, it's, it's hard for people to believe like our friendship, I, I, I don't understand it. Cause I'm like, you like to have a good time. I like to have a good time. You like your Miami or Carisha? If you had to pick, which one you like? Carisha? Mm -hmm. Carisha, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I really know you as the person, you know what I'm saying? I, I, to be honest, like the, you know I mean? I knew you before, you know, as young Miami, but um, when you introduced yourself to me, you said Carisha, and then so I've known you more like that. I haven't. I, I mean, my first show that I saw you at was um, Coachella. You know. You made me nervous. <laughs> we was right there in front rapping out my songs. I'm like, how the fuck you know that song? The support, you know. So the people want to yeah, know. Yeah, also, it's, what they want to know. Are you a hundred K poppy? Yes, that's me. Okay. That's me. You dropping 100K? 250. On a, on a shopper's spring? 250. Oh, getting, getting your bag, staying your bag. Staying, like getting it. your bag. You know what it is? Love that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I ain't got no time to be cheap. You feel me? You So you not cheap? Nah, nah. No, no, no. You like I'm, spending money? Hey, yeah. I'm like just living my best life and anything around me, I want it to flourish and live its best life too. So. I'm just in a good mood. You know how when you just, hey, big spender. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's Christmas. Let's have a good time with this life. So it's everyday Christmas when you with Diddy. Um, yeah, Cause that's I mean, something I every, always wonder. I mean, I wouldn't say Christmas. Every, every day is, every day is, I'm, I'm trying to make it the best day for everybody around me. You know what I'm saying? I'm, you know, I'm trying, trying my best. What do you learn the but, most about women? Um, Favorite just, body a woman's, part. just a woman's soul, you know? It's, it's nothing like being around some feminine energy. Just a woman's soul, her eyes. But my favorite thing about a woman is her eyes. You know, um, you have some real pretty black, black, black eyes. I'll tell you, <laughs> like, you look like your daughter. Your daughter's eyes is just like you just like black pools, you know what I'm saying? And so, I mean, what's going on with you? What's your, your status? You? Me? Yeah. I'm dating. You dating? Mm -hmm. All right. That's I'm having it. fun, you know, I'm just living my best life, doing yeah. what the fuck I want. Yeah. You know, it's, it's good. It's, it's good to I'm do gonna that sometimes. I'm going to entangle me. I feel like I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> on my chain shit, I'm kind of like an entanglement. I'm just. <laughs> having fun. I'm just acting bad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As, lo as long as you laughing, you know what I'm saying? As long as you smiling, as long as you having a good time, you know, that's what it's about. Why you never got married? Um, Just wasn't ready. Just wasn't ready. Just didn't want to do it. Just didn't want to, never had a desire to get married. You know what I'm saying? And just when I was growing up, my father got killed when I was young, when I was two. Then my mother, she just like never wanted to have men around. You know what I'm saying? It was something like during that time having like men around your children. And um, so I never really saw a relationship like that. I was just raised around women. And so I never really had those, those aspirations. So I, I know it was like the, the dream. It's, it's, it's every woman's and every person's dream. I mean, a lot of people's dream, and it just for me, I just wasn't really about that life. Yeah, because people feel like you gotta be married. I don't have a desire to be married. Yeah, I'm gonna be happy. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I don't wanna be married because when it's time for me to get the fuck on, <laughs> I wanna go. <laughs> 
I'm packing my shit and I'm leaving. I don't want to be nobody's wife, ex-wife. I don't even know you. <laughs> Bye. So I don't have a desire to be married either. Yeah. Um. Do you want more kids? Cause I like. Yeah. yeah. I definitely. I'm. I, I definitely gonna have more kids. I want tw- like you know I want twins. So that's why I was throwing it out. Uh, that you want more kids? Cause I wanted oh. to set the twins and I know I they weren't. You said they were running you your said family. You, you said you ain't want to have no more kids when we was talking. Yeah, but I want, I, some, thought, I want some twins now. I changed my mind. Oh, you changed your mind. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, I know that's they like stuff. running your family. So I'm just throwing. It, <laughs> I'm throwing it out. <laughs> Hey, yo, you know you a mean manifesto with that 11 <laughs> yeah, Slow down, girl. God, please. <laughs> yeah, nah, nah. I want to definitely have more kids, especially now when my girl's getting older. I need, like, I, I've definitely been having baby fever like crazy. Like, whoo. Would you want a boy or girl? It wouldn't even matter to me. You know what I'm saying? Just to be healthy, to be able to have a chance to do it, do it again with all that I learned now, you know what I'm saying? I see it in my future. I definitely see it in my future. What's the craziest thing you've done for love? Because I done did some things. The craziest thing I've done for love? I remember I had, I had broke up with my girlfriend in college at, at Howard University. And her parents just didn't want her with me. It was like, yo, he's a bad, bad guy. You know what I'm saying? And so they took her out of school. Mm-hmm. And then I, I couldn't find her. She like, they, they changed the number on me. They was really not trying to have their daughter fuck with Puff Daddy. <laughs> and I love this girl. This girl's name was Robin. And I, I had stopped going to Howard. Mm-hmm. But I heard she returned to Howard because they let her go because I wasn't going to Howard. And you went back. I ran to the train station. I'm talking about like hurting just fools. So you ran to the train station, got on the train, DC, ain't even have no <laughs> money to just, just hiding, just, just trying to hide in the train and just trying to get to DC. And then I'm like looking all over for her and she opens up the door. And then she like lets me know, like, you know, it was over. And it was like, man, I was like, I felt like I was out of a movie, you know, like running, <laughs> running for my love. You know, I'm fighting for my love. I'm just taking the train. Man, I got so smashed up. I remember walking around the track across from the dorm, just just crying. Just like that, <laughs> that, that. <gasps> you know what I'm saying? Like that deep, like, oh God. Oh, no. You, say you, you gotta, know what I'm saying? So, yeah, true. I love hard. I love I love hard. You know what I'm saying? My new single is is, is about that. You know, that's how I got through my last breakup. Got to move on. Got to move on, you know. Um, joined with Bryson Teller. That's one it was of my hard, hard, It's hard for, hard for me to move on. Wow, you know? Why was it so hard? Uh, man. Because I just... You know, I just, I just didn't want to let her go. You know what I'm saying? What's the craziest thing you've ever done for love? Craziest thing I ever done for love? I don't. Do Would that. you do what I did? What I talked about? Just you heard what I'm saying? You gonna run like to the? For the dick of my hang off the airplane. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be at your mama's house, anybody house. You gonna love me? <laughs> we ain't done it till I say we done. I don't give a fuck. The craziest thing I did, I done did some shit. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> At your mama's house with a bad tunnel, come outside. Oh, let me see what's the craziest what's thing the I crazy? ever did. Tell me. The craziest thing I ever did for love was he was drunk. I went through his phone, found him cheating, packed up all my shit, uh-huh. moved out my house just to go back. Like, I went back and was crying, like, on the hood of his car. Like, bitch, didn't you leave? <laughs> but I had to think about it, like, <laughs> Well, I'm go. That was the craziest shit because I just packed up my whole house. Yeah. And I was like, you know what? I ain't, I ain't even my man. I got to go back. I'm like, hang on the hood. The hood of the car, like, uh-uh, you got me fucked up. Where you going? He was like, girl, your ass crazy. Like, you packed up. You left me. Why you back? So I think that was crazy as fuck to pack up my shit, go back, and now I'm hanging off the hood of your car because you, you, you ain't even calling me no more. I'm like, nigga, you got, uh-uh, you got to come back. Listen, where you going? I want you to chase me. Yeah. 
You can't move on until I say we done. That's mm. that's how I operate. Yeah. You might yeah, want to. Yeah, in my situation, I ain't had no choice. It was like, he was married and had had a baby. I, Damn, it was, it was, I, I had to move on. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's crazy, though. You was hanging off the, the, the hood of a car? I hang off yours. <laughs> Hell yeah, where well, you going? I'm going, I'm going with you. <laughs> Security let me in the game. Oh, oh you, a, you, got, you got a different type of love. What kind of love is that? I'm going to pull up on them jet skis at your house. Let, let them not let me in the gate. <laughs> not, not. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, Carisha. Nice to meet you. Can I talk to you? Hmm. You want to join the conversation? Why are you not answering my calls? <laughs> that, that's how I am. That's how I bring my smoke. Oh, okay. No, I ain't, ain't, I'm getting like I gotta bring it to your front though. That's how I operate. Mm. Man, you got that aggressive love. Got that scared nigga love. <laughs> <laughs> so, so tell me about the plans for the show. What is Carisha Please gonna be about? Carisha Please, it's gonna be more of like a lifestyle podcast. We just gonna talk about everything, like mm. real life topics. You know, love. It's mm. just like a conversation. Mm. I want to bring a lot of people in. I think mm. I want to do T.D. Jakes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that'd be dope. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like the, this new generation need it. We need yeah. some healing. Yeah. I I'm going to take you to the church one day. I love that. Real. No, that, that, that's one thing. That, um, that word is so important. Having God in your life is so, so important, you know? And we happy to have him on Revolt. Now we got you. But, um, you know, them sermons that I sent you, I know I'll always be sending you sermons. It's just, you know, I, I just wish everybody could get a chance to, you know, oh, get that uplifting word every week, you know? That's one thing I love about our friendship is that we connect through God. Like, we put God first. Like, you always send me, like, you sent me something about inflection point. Yeah. And I watched it, and it was like, it was crazy. The time that you, you sent it to me was like, I was going through everything he was speaking about. Yeah. So I feel like that's like one of my favorite things about our friendship. It's yeah. like God, yeah. church. That's what's up. I ain't never have a nigga take me to church. <laughs> <laughs> I would take you to church. I would take you to church. That's a that's that's a grown man right there. We got up over here, filled with the spirit. That's the new frequency, you know. Mm -hmm. Where you at? Where, I mean, where you at with love? Are you you still believe in love? Since, since you like like after going through, you know, things like, that you're going through? I feel like for me, I'm still young, so I'm not really focused on love because uh -huh. love is like a distraction. Yeah. And like I love heart too. Yeah. So it's like right now I just really want to focus on my career. Yeah. And I want to have fun. That's why I'm just dating. Mm -hmm. Because it's like when I'm in love, they kind of just be like my focus. It's a lot. Like you gotta yeah. put another person, you know, feelings first, and yeah. you gotta compromise, and it's like certain stuff that I might have to do with work, a person might not agree on. Yeah. And I got kids to feed, so I feel like love will come, you know, later yeah. on down like down the line for me. So do I still believe in love? Kind of, sort of, but niggas ain't shit. Mm. I hear that. Well, <laughs> 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 oh, shit, it's been great. It's been great. You know, Carisha, please. And um, yeah, I can't wait till we drop that record. I can't wait till y'all hear the record act bad. You took me off the song. No, I didn't take you off the song. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do you gotta we gotta get back in there and, and just get those verses just right, you know. When is your album gonna be done? Our album is coming out the end of July. Okay. So it's about to be a city girl summer. Okay. And you already know. You about to fuck this summer up. You about to fuck this shit up. Yeah, I love to be in the studio with you, you know, like as a producer and just. Mm. That's gonna be like one of my like highlights of my career, like getting in the studio with Diddy mm. and, you know, doing a record with you and having you produce it and being in the studio recording yeah. it. Yeah, we got a bona fide banger. We got a bona fide banger and also got a hit show. So that's what we doing. We going up, we getting money. What's up with us? We getting money. Yeah, together. we get we getting money over here. Yeah, that, it's the that's, money yeah, that's, yeah, that's that's what we doing. So um, yeah, thanks for having me be the first guest. Yeah, everybody. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs>
<laughs> the more you do it, you know, just the better, better you gonna get. You know what I'm saying? What you trying to do with the platform, though, too? You know, like is uh, you trying to speak to women? Are you just talking about lifestyle? I'm trying to be the voice. I'm trying to do everything. Like it's no limits with me. Yeah. You know, I can take you to church. Yeah. I can take you to the club. Yeah. Take you in the bedroom. Oh. <laughs> I can do it all. I'm a, you know, check our trades. So I'm trying yeah. to just take it everywhere. Okay. The sky's the limit for me. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Do 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 do. Carisha, please. Period.